Number six, how many sigma and pi bonds are present in the molecule HCN? Okay, so first things first is just know these symbols. This symbol is always said as a sigma bond, and this we've seen in math class, those are your pi bonds. So we're just talking about specifically sigma and pi bonds present in HCN. Now, the easiest way to do this is to draw the Lua structure of whatever the compound is. So in this case, I'm just going to, you know, go for it and draw my Lua structure. So remember the rules of Lua structures, just as a brief recap, we have tons of videos in another playlist just designated to drawing Lua structures. So this will kind of be like a brief overview, right? Remember, hydrogen can never be in the middle and the least electronegative is always in the middle. Carbon is less electronegative than nitrogen. So in this case, I'll have carbon with the nitrogen on one side and a hydrogen on the other. Put your valence electrons. Hydrogen is in group one on the periodic table, so it has four, uh, one valence electron. I looked at carbon for a second, so I skipped the gun. But hydrogen has one valence electron. Carbon in group 4A or 14, that has four valence electrons, so one, two, three, four. And then nitrogen, uh, group 15 or 5A has five valence electrons. So I'll just like move one, two, three, four, five. We make all single bonds first and just check the connections. So maybe I'll bring this, whoop. I'll say that this one binds with this one, beautiful. The hydrogen can only have two electrons. So hydrogen is good, which means that I can't touch this bond, but the carbon is not good. It's got two, four, five, six electrons. So it wants more and nitrogen wants more as well. Two, three, four, five, six. So that's when you start making multiple bonds. So one electron from the carbon with one electron from the nitrogen is going to make a new bond. Let's just check. Do we have the octet rule? Not yet. Two, four, six, seven, and the same thing for the nitrogen. So the one other electron is gonna come in and bind, and now everybody is good to go. So we have actually a triple bond here. Okay, so that's the first step. This is probably the hardest step because if you don't have the right Lewis structure, you're not gonna have the right sigma and pi bonds. Now just know that since the sigma bond is the strongest of them all, right, between covalent bonding sigma and pi, the sigma is the strongest bond and a sigma bond is present in all bonds. Whether you have a single bond, a double bond, or a triple bond, one sigma bond is present in them all. So for example, you have one single bond here. The bond, is that gonna be a sigma or is that gonna be a pi? That's obviously gonna be a sigma bond. So I have one sigma bond here. So we'll start writing definitions. If you have a single bond, that consists of one sigma bond, always. So one sigma bond. and one for one. Now let's do a triple bond, right? Or in this case, you know, a double bond, we'll do that in the middle as we go along. But in this case, we need to know what the triple bond is. Okay. So remember, a sigma bond is present in all types of bonds. Here's another type of bond, it's a triple bond. You're only allowed one sigma per type of bond. So one of these guys, right? Chances are it's gonna be the one directly in the middle because that's what a sigma bond is, but that's going to be your sigma bond. You have to have one of them. So one sigma bond. And the same thing for the double bond. You will have one sigma bond in there. That's why they're present in all bonds. The rest are pi bonds. So that's where it comes in. So for example, if one of them is a sigma bond, well, I got two more bonds here. So in a triple bond, the other two, they're pi bonds. 
So for a triple bond, you have one sigma and two pi bonds. This gets me the total of three, right? One plus two is three. So can you tell me if I have a double bond, a total of two lines, how many pi bonds? Yeah, you got it, one pi bond. And always this is what it is. So definitely highly recommend you memorizing that. So in this case, we have two pi. So now we just want the total. So the total number of sigma bonds is I had one over here and one in the triple bond. So I have two. And then the total number of pi bonds was only in the triple bond. That was two. So I have two. And this total, two plus two, should equal how many lines you have? One, two, three, four lines. Two plus two is four. And we are done. So this is the answer. Two sigma, two pi bonds in HCN. And there you go. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. And if I just want to just say something for a little bit of pi over here, uh, pi bonds are uh, the rest, right? The rest of the bonds, if there is anything left. Just to have it there. Okay. And now we're done. So, Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to help us out, we're almost at 30,000 subscribers, and it's nuts. And it's all because of you guys. Thank you for being part of this awesome community, and I'm so glad to hear that this channel is helping you in your classes. So just keep working hard. All right, we're here to guide you, but you're doing all the hard work. So I'm proud of you. My brother is super proud of you. And let's just keep going, all right? We'll keep producing videos. You keep studying hard with these videos. And it's a win-win, right? Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.